Good morning students it's me Ms Sonia and today we are back with another lesson as you all know that we have completed formative phase of pakistan in the previous lecture so today i am taking this start with constitution of pakistan 1947 till 56 but yes the first constitution of pakistan was made in 1956 so we are going to discuss about that constitution but before moving forward hurry up grab your notebook along with pencil and pen and start noting the important pointers and yes you're already familiar with the other guidelines because there were multiple questions as well as mcqs which were included in the past papers from this slo so let's move forward to constitution in today's lecture we are going to discuss in detail about the why there was a delay in constitution making of pakistan but before moving forward let me just uh go through this slo and let me just explain you that what exactly the question has been asked into the slo according to slo 8.1.2 discuss the reasons for delay in the constitution making in pakistan 1947 till 1956 according to this slo it has been asked that you have to tell the reasons behind that why the constitution it was delayed in the making of pakistan so starting with the definition of constitution a constitution in a nation's is a nation's basic law it creates political institutions assigns or divides powers in the government and often provides certain guarantees to the citizens when i take the term constitution constitution basically means that it highlights about the basic laws of the nation that which kind of laws you have to follow and then it also creates a political institution political institution means the government how the government will be run what rules and regulations the government have to follow it also assigns and it also divides the power between the government officials and it often provides certain guarantees to the citizens and those guarantees are in sense of freedom of speech freedom of expression freedom of rights etc sets the broad rules of the game it also sets the broad rule of the game that how you have to run the country and what are some non government examples of constitution the rules are not neutral well not uh, each and every rule is neutral not everything is practiced neutrally every time but yes some participants and policies options have advantages over others it means that the higher bodies like presidents and prime minister they are going to have more powers as compared to those who come under them now what what are the reasons for the delay in the constitution making in pakistan as i've mentioned before about it the first constitution of pakistan was made in the era of 1956 so which was basically uh, the era which we have discussed into the previous slide and if you're not familiar with it so kindly just review my lecture which is on to my channel with the name of formative phase of pakistan in which i have explained you that after 1947 till 58 how many of uh, the governor generals or how many of uh, the higher bodies came who was replaced by whom each and every detail is given over there so starting with the first point pakistan was given the status of dominant state under the independence act 1947 so you can see it over here that under the independence act 1947 pakistan was given the superior state the higher state the superior position indian act 1935 was adopted as an interim constitution temporary constitution with necessary adjustments and alteration till the time of pakistan from its constitution now when i talk about indians of independence act it was basically followed in the subcontinent when they were living and when they were not uh, uh, when they were not having their own state or when they were not independent so soon after coming to pakistan it was a new state for them obviously they have to look after the further uh, they have to look after other elements such as financial crisis economic crisis political crisis etc so due to all of these reasons the major focus was on to first to look after all of these things and then to look after the government policies etc so till the time when there was no constitution which was made by them because they were looking after all of these problems till that time they were following independence act 1935 and then the first constitution was made in 
which era i have highlighted the first constitution was made in 1956 before that we were following this constitution the first constitution assembly elected by mr jena on august 11 1947 and then qaida azam mohammad ali jena he elected the first assembly when i say the first constitution assembly then it means that in an assembly the government officials will decide that who will uh, be elected for the government who will stand for the positions who will who, uh, to whom the positions will be allotted now objective resolution was passed on march 12 1949 by first constitution assembly you are familiar with objective resolution in your previous classes which we have discussed in detail it was passed on march 12 1949 according to the objective resolution the powers were allotted it was decided that how the government will be ruled and run into pakistan by the first constituent assembly you can see this point in which it is written that mr jena he have elected the government officials and then they decided that how they have to run their constitution constitution assembly means that that all of those members were sitting and they were making up those constitution the first constitution for pakistan a, a draft was basically made and it was presented in which it was written that how and which kind of policies you have to follow for pakistan now the first report was published in 1950 which introduced the parliamentary system in pakistan the first report of the constitution once again i i repeat that it is basically a rough draft which is not uh, approved by the government but a rough draft was presented that what points they are going to consider or what point which kind of points they are getting introduced into this So the first report was published in 1950 which introduced the parliamentary system in Pakistan parliamentarian system means that there will be different uh, government officials of different provinces and uh, uh, the decision will be somehow the decision will be into their hands and it was it will be allotted to them that how they have to run their governments into the provinces that is known as the parliamentarian system now the second point The first report was rejected by the government because it didn't consider the effective role of East Pakistan because they they were not uh, having the effective role it means that no contribution of East Pakistan due to this reason the first report it got rejected then the second report was published in 1952 but rejected by the assembly due to the upper hand was given to East Pakistan then you can see that in in the constitution in in the written draft uh, the written draft of 1952 it was speaking in favor of um, those people uh, it was uh, speaking in favor of east pakistan but once again you can see over here that it is despite of the fact it is speaking only in the favor of east pakistan but not any other person who is living over there in pakistan this is the main reason that it got rejected so you can see that how much struggle they have presented to make the constitution of 1956 and then finally after the struggle of 5 years the constitution was made and then it was approved by the government officials and it was um, you can say that that it was declared in 1956 and i have already told you the struggle before of uh, the making of constitution and these were the reasons that why it got delayed question number 1 define the term constitution and then question number 2 discuss the reasons for the delay in the constitution making in pakistan 1947 to 56 you have to do this assignment in your notebook and you have to post the picture of your assignment under my instructions on kp and uh, still if you people are having any sort of questions so you can ask me on kp under my instructions thank you so much everyone i hope this presentation turned out to be something very important and informative for all of you so if you if you are having any questions you can connect with me over there Inshallah we'll return back with another presentation for all of you till then take care barakallah and